Hi, everyone. My name is Wei Shan, and I'm a database architect within the Alibaba Database Product Group. Today, I'll be talking about migrating database workload to Alibaba Cloud. First of all, why Alibaba Cloud? Today, Alibaba Group has many different business units, and all of these different business units, like retail businesses, logistics businesses, entertainment businesses, all run on Alibaba technology backbone today. It is supported by various different technology that we use. For example, PolarDBX, AnalyticDB, and NoSQL engine like Lindum. During the 2020 double 11 day, the entire promotion sales day was running on Alibaba Cloud. For example, our Analytic DB or ADB transaction per second reached 5 million with a P95 latency of less than 10 milliseconds. During the day itself, our peak workload, peak order, was 583,000 per second and Polar DB transaction per second hit 140 million per second. Today, the entire promotion of W11, the entire sales day, runs on Alibaba Cloud. We are also globally trusted by many different brands across the world, be it fintech businesses, logistic businesses, banking sector, travel vertical. It's across a wide industry of um, businesses. This is a high level uh, blueprint of all the different services that we have today in Alibaba Cloud. Under the OLTP engine, we have PolarDBX, PolarDB and RDS. Under the OLED vertical, we have ADB and Altic DB. If you like to build a data lake in Alibaba Cloud, we have the DLA, Data Lake Analytics, ClickHouse, a growing popular NoSQL columnar database. Under the NoSQL vertical, we have Lindum. It's a multi-model database that can support time series data, log, event. We also have NoSQL, uh, NoSQL the Redis. We also have our own enterprise edition called Care, which is uh, multi-threaded. For graph look workload, we have GDB. For document workload, we have MongoDB, we have HBase, and white columnar, we also have Cassandra. Under the tools and utility section, we have DTS, data transmission service for any to any replication or migration. Adam, advanced database and application migration to migrate out of Oracle database. DMS, a centralized database management tool you can use to manage database across Alibaba Cloud, your on-premise services, or even other cloud vendor. DBS, database backup service. This is a centralized backup service that you can use to manage all your backups, be it on Alibaba Cloud or other cloud or even your on-premise services. Choosing your target database. If you have a OLTP or relational database that you would like to migrate to Alibaba Cloud, these are some of the workflow that you can use to choose the right database to move to. For example, if you are using MySQL, you can always use our RDS MySQL. If it's Postgres, you can use RDS for Postgres. If you have a requirement on the data storage, for example, you need up to 100 terabyte, you need high elasticity, you want a high performance MySQL, you can always use PolarDB, our cloud native OLTP database engine. We have three versions of it. One is PolarDB for MySQL, PolarDB for Postgres. These are drop-in replacement that is 100% compatible with MySQL or Postgres. If you have an Oracle database on premise and you want to migrate to cloud, you can use PolarDB Oracle, which is highly compatible with the Oracle engine, requires certain modification, but that can be evaluated from Adam. If you are looking to migrate your OLED workload or your data warehouse to Alibaba Cloud, we have mainly two flavors for data warehouse. ADB for MySQL, ADB for Postgres. These are cloud native data warehousing solution with real time integration from your upstream sources. So you can stream data from MySQL to Analytic DB for MySQL in real time. And then with the fast analytics on it, you can achieve end to end real time analytics. If you want to build a data lake, or if you want to do federated queries across different data sources, you can use data lake analytics. If you have a click house on premise that you want to migrate to Alibaba Cloud, you can look at our managed click house service. Under the NoSQL scenario, we have 
many different NoSQL engine that will be suitable for your different needs. For example, we have Manage Redis, Manage MongoDB. Manage MongoDB is a partnership with MongoDB company to provide the original uh, MongoDB binary. We also have Manage HBase, Manage Cassandra, Manage TSDB, Time Series Database, and a Manage Graph Database that is compatible with Thinkerport Gremlin interface. Migration methodologies. In essence, there are two types of approach to database migration. Number one is the Big Bang approach. Number two is the phase approach. On the left, you can see the, the, some of the pros and cons of a Big Bang approach. It's a lot simpler, less costly as well, because there's no need to maintain two copies of the environment. However, the downtime could be quite long. And depending on a data size, it might not be feasible. And with a Big Bang approach, it's, there's a high risk of getting expensive surprises with um, workload, um, performance issues, or some features that is not there that you need it. So the, 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 the surprises, the, 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 because the testing itself, you will not be able to test across the um, production workload. So there'll, there'll be a lot of things that, that might just pop up and it's very expensive to, to fix those. Rollback is generally a lot more difficult because once you do a big bang switch over, to switch back is another big bang to roll back. Phase approach are much more common these days, even though it's more expensive, more complex. However, the downtime required is very minimal because you can actually build a, a second environment, a, a, a duplicate environment for your application to start doing testing with the actual production workload. So it's less prone to expensive surprises. However, it is also a bit tricky to keep both your source and data, source and target database in sync. You need to use some sort of CDC solution to make sure that they are in sync. If not, you have to configure your application to do a do write on the application side. This is how a big bang approach looks like. So you have your source and target database. This is a source and your client is connecting to the application tier, which is connecting to the database. First, what you need to do is build your application tier in the cloud, create your database. So during the downtime itself, stop all client access on the source site, start replicating your data, doing an export import on the database. Once it's done, then you point, you allow your application to connect into your database. And that is when the downtime is um, completed. And depending on your database size, this migration approach can take up to hours or even days. So for a lot of businesses today, especially startups where your services are required to be online 24 seven, this might not be a feasible approach for you. How does a phase approach look like? You have your source and your target. On the source side, you have your client connecting to your application tier and to your database. What you do is you duplicate a same environment onto Alibaba Cloud on the target site, your client connecting to your application tier, connecting to your database. By this point in time, you do not expose it out to your, um, your general traffic yet. Configure a replication technology. In our case, you can use DTS, Data Transmission Service, to continuously replicate the changes to your target database. And once that is done as in sync, all you have to do is to stop the services on the source site for a while, switch all the connections to the application site on, onto Alibaba Cloud. It could be using DNS or global load balancer, and then you're good to go.